How was that, man? Wow, that hits you, right? Yeah. You hear the noise, and then... Boom. Boom. You, you can feel the wind hitting you in the face. You're traveling so fast, like, yeah. almost instantly. Sweet. Sweet. Yeah. So, oh, Bungee jumping's an absolute extreme activity and it's been around for about 30 years and they wanted to create the next thing. What was going to be the next personal challenge beyond bungee? The thing that took bungee to the next level. You know, we've been pioneering adventure and personal challenge for 30 years now, more than that, and it's, it's really easy for us to be passionate about it because everybody is. It was good where we came along and we said to Holmes, here's, uh, here's a challenge, we, you know, we think this is what we might do with it. What do you guys think? They had a really clear vision for what they were trying to achieve, but they allowed us to explore a whole range of engineering options to bring that um, experience to life, make it a reality. They, they very much wanted something new uh, already on the site. Uh, the the they've got a bungee jump, which is vertical, and they've got a swing. Um, so this uh, was to be a, a horizontal, you know, to feel like flight. They wanted it to be an absolutely extreme event, one of these world first rides that when people looked at there was the anticipation of excitement to ride it and the, the fear before you hopped on it and the just absolute enthusiasm eh, which is um, contagious when you hop off the ride then what about the transfer that through to the next rider before they hopped on and trying to encapsulate all of that into the ride that we were designing was a core part of the overall project. I'm a, a really open team here um, at Home Solutions. Um, we see that it's been really important to um, foster creativity and, and come up with new ideas. We encompass the, the full spectrum from um, the initial design um, right through to coming up with a complete engineered solution. We knew what Bungie were after, the experience that they were trying to achieve. We knew the infrastructure they had available to them and we, uh, we knew some of the engineering constraints that we had to work between. Starting right from when we gave them the brief, they came down to several workshops with a group of us and a group of them, uh, right here in, the, in this building in at Bungie HQ. So what we came up with, the catapult was something that had been sort of sitting in my mind for 30 years. I did one on a, on a bike years ago uh, in France when we were sort of in our, in our youth. Um, so getting, getting it defined and sort of putting that into a modern context was, uh, was a great challenge. You can't just go and jump off bridges anymore. So we needed to have a partner in this development who was able to provide us with an incredibly rigorous and, and, and very thorough process and uh, come up with, a, with an outcome that thrilled people and excited people and gave our team and all of our customers the, the chance to live more and fear less. So the way that we worked was with the whole AJ Hackett team, we ran a series of workshops drawing out of them their experiences, um, activities that they liked, feedback from their patrons, putting all that, all of that together with their engineering knowledge to create this world's first amazing ride. And from there, we needed to, to work out what the, what the components were. So um, we knew we had to uh, generate some tension in the bungee. Uh, we knew we had to keep the people safe. So we did a big study, uh, a failure mode and effects analysis. We worked out all the different things that could possibly go wrong. And um, based on that, we started to specify what the equipment needed to do and what the control system needed to do to keep everybody safe. We needed to come up with a system that could give you that experience of flying. But uh, when, you're, when you're hanging from your shoulders, typically it's very uncomfortable. So uh, we had to come up with a harness concept that allowed you to end up in a seated position um, after the launch so you could look around the valley um, and enjoy your, enjoy your retrieval. So we were trying to come up with a, a system which meant that you could be harnessed away from the point of launch, uh, walk into the launch area and then you could quickly be harnessed up and, and, and sent out. One of the key challenges there was to get from a standing to a prone position uh, quickly and efficiently. Um, we came up with a, with a method of doing that using a, using a launch rail. There are a lot of hidden safety systems down to um, your uh, safety connections to the pod when you're being harnessed are monitored. So the system won't let you launch uh, if you're still connected to the pod. There's a the whole, whole heap of stuff going on in the background that the, uh, the patron will be unaware of. One, one of the, the great things we have um, at Home Solutions is a, a huge laboratory. Um, which means we can mock up 
uh, any, any part of the design we want to. So we spent a lot of time um, with a 40 meter long um, simulation of the Nevis Thriller um, in our laboratory. Um, the control contractor was able to come in and we set up the winches and all the complicated electronics uh, and that could all be developed in the house uh, underneath our roof and away from, uh, from anyone's prying eyes which is one of the reasons why this project has managed to stay um, confidential until, until launch. Because it was, we wanted it to be a top secret new activity in Queenstown, um, all of the testing had to be done outside of operational hours as there are uh, clients on site during the day. So it was early hours in the morning and, and late at night into the dark sometimes uh, testing. And um, of course during the winter the hours are very short so it was a long, you know, cold testing program through the winter period. Today we're heading out to do a final check on the uh, new catapult system prior to the uh, first public launch. We're going to go through and make sure that there are no niggles that have occurred in the uh, initial period of, of testing. And best of all, I'm going to have my first shot. There's a bit of a, an internal conflict going in my mind, as there always is with these kind of things, between the emotional brain and, and rational brain. You know you've gone through all of the sums and calculations and you've done all the design work and I personally have seen hundreds of test shots go off this um, but it's still everything in the back of your mind going did you check those numbers is everything safe so it's, it's always an internal conflict which is really fun Um, yeah, it was intense and it was it was immediate. Uh, you get fired off and the wind just immediately hits you in the face. It's like a physical force pushing your head backwards and you can feel the blood rush to the back of your head. Uh, it's, it's intense. Uh, yeah. uh, out of 10, knowing that I helped design it, I'd, I'd have to give it an 11. <laughs> This is the place to be. The place to be, Katie. Awesome, so Shenzhou and Katie, you were the first guys on the uh, the new catapult yeah. ride. Yep. What did you think? Amazing. Yeah. Exhilarating. Yeah? Yeah, really good. <laughs> Girl, what was the best bit? Uh, I think when they lift you up for me, when they lift you up just before they launch you, that was the moment my heart went into my throat. <laughs> and then that launch, uh, yeah. Acceleration? I think the same for me, just waiting for the countdown, yeah. waiting to be launched. Yeah, that's when, they, the best when they pull you off the edge, it's pretty, uh, pretty exhilarating, yeah, eh? Yeah, it is. Another way that drives us is, is just getting people to realise they can, if they can do what we, what we provide them, they can do anything. So often people come along, they have one of their experiences, and then they think, well, if I can do that, I can do anything. Our team at Home Solutions have done a lot of work with AJ Hackett. Um, we love working with them. They've got an absolute focus on customer safety and we love just designing world-class rides and overcoming technical challenges. To, to realise the, um, the feel of the speed of leaving and the, the, the rebound head first up uh, was what I, you know, everything I expected in the ride and I knew it was going to be a winner. 
I couldn't be more proud of our team from Homes on this project. We overcome some really big technical challenges. We created this world-class ride and I couldn't imagine a better outcome. I'm really satisfied how our process has delivered a great outcome and a great experience for Asia Hackett and for their patrons. We relish these challenges. Um, it's, it's, it's what we've been doing for, for a long time and there are, there are more, you know, there's more ideas and there's always more ideas in the pipeline. So would we do this project again? Absolutely. Um, we work with companies all over the world designing them amazing rides, so all I can say is watch this space.